Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bold. Guys, while working with GraphQL, GraphQL will always store the retrieved data in the cached memory. The reason behind is to improve the loading time and get your data faster. But what if you need to refresh your Graph query result in your Lightning Web Component? So basically in LWC, we are having refresh view APIs to do the same, but in a GraphQL query, there's a different way to do it. So in this video, I'll show you how you can refresh a GraphQL query to get the latest result from your object. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bold. All right, guys, let's start today's video. So guys, for this video, I'll be using one of my previous code snippet where I have created a GraphQL query to display list of account. If you're new on this uh, YouTube channel, then I'm having a separate playlist for GraphQL already where I'm already having three values. I'll leave the link on the top right corner of this video. So I'll quickly go to my blog, which is salesforcebolt.com and I will search for GraphQL. It will return the GraphQL related video. So here are three videos I have already uploaded. Now, for today's demo, guys, I have already created one component. So what I'll do, uh, I'll quickly copy this component, which is basically displaying list of accounts, okay? So I'll copy the HTML first. Here, I'll update the title. Uh, let's make it refresh GraphQL result, okay? So I have updated title now JavaScript we need this I'll copy this from here and paste it here okay and I will copy these stuff as well so basically now it will return a list of record basically five accounts it will return okay and uh, what is this result errors okay <clears throat> now I'll show you how you can uh, refresh the data whenever you want to uh, refresh the GraphQL, it may, it could be a button or maybe after a specific functionality, you need to reload the data. It could be any situation, right? Now for that, uh, first let's try to upload this thing and uh, see the output. So I'll quickly upload it. Okay, it is uploaded now. Now I'll go to my application and uh, that component should be here. Okay, it is taking longer than usual to load. Okay, it is loading finally. Let me try to reload it one more time. Yeah, here it is. So this is my application page where I'm having a couple of components. These are my previous example components, which you can find on my blog and my YouTube channel as well. And uh, this is the component what we have created right now, refresh GraphQL result. Here you are able to see five accounts from my uh, Salesforce object, right? Now I'll show you how you can uh, refresh this query result to get the latest data for example uh, so first of all we'll add a button now to add a button we will go to lightning web component library we'll open the component library and here we'll go to lightning lightning and button here it is now from here list of buttons we will take the success one this is a success one i'll copy it and uh, paste it after this template maybe with a new line okay so this is my button which is having handle click let's update it to handle refresh as we'll be refreshing the result on the click of this button okay so first thing the refresh function is going to be a async function so we'll make it 
uh, sync handle refresh so this is going to be the function where we'll be refreshing the graphql result okay now to refresh a graphql query guys first you need to include the refresh graphql here okay and another thing you need to update is so whenever you're getting the graphql data you need to assign your result in a parameter first okay so for that i'll create a parameter here let's name it graphql data okay and now we need to assign the result uh, in this data so here first we need to have the result here guys right now i'm having data and error so instead of this data and error we need to have it like this so i'll do result and here i'll declare constant because this is the syntax of this graphql refresh thing you need to have result in it you need to have data and error both in it so i'll do data errors equals to result okay now this or maybe we can do it at the end after this assignment of this error so i'll do this dot graphql data equals to result okay so we have added the overall result here now what we can do is here in this handle refresh uh, let's return refresh graphql and here we need to return this dot result basically which is graphql data right so this would be the only thing required to have this thing i'll quickly deploy it and uh, show you the output okay still deploying something is definitely wrong with my internet today anyways let me refresh it and see okay it is deployed now all right we are having the button here now let's try to change something so this is my list of accounts where i'm having this account here you can see my name and one two three four five six seven after it now i'll edit it and i'll try to remove the number i'll quickly save it okay it is saved now now i'll go here and we'll try to click on success and you can see the data has been updated here the number has been removed let me quickly update this button also to refresh title also i'll make refresh result okay so basically whenever you'll be clicking on refresh it will be refreshing the graphql cached memory and it will give you the latest data from your object from your org i'll show it to you one more time just waiting for it to upload okay still going on okay yeah now for example if i'm changing it okay let me refresh it so that you can see the refresh button here instead of success now you can see refresh here now if i'll update it then click on that button then it will be updated again and one strange behavior i i know i have noticed here whenever i'm clicking on this refresh as you can notice in my in this page we are having multiple components which are having graphql results right so one of these components are to get parent and child records and for that component i have added the result of that graphql query which is not related to the current component where we are having the refresh which is not related to the current graphql data right this is a completely different component but on the same page now here if you will notice i have cleared the log okay okay let me update this now we have updated an account and when i'll go back and i'll click on refresh is it updated i'm not sure let me click on refresh again yeah so you can see it is updated here but on the other end my other component which is having that parent and child query is also getting refreshed automatically so if you will see this account i was having in my other component also so here is that account kapil batra one two three 
Now the other components are also getting refreshed. I'm not sure if this is the expected behavior, but it is what it is now. Okay. So yeah, so that's how you can uh, refresh your GraphQL uh, query result. That's how you can refresh your cache data. So that's it for today, guys. I'll be having the complete code of it on my blog, which is salesforcebold.com. So if you need like all the GraphQL related video, you can simply go here, search for the GraphQL using the search bar and you will be getting the result or you can directly visit my YouTube channel. There also will be getting GraphQL uh, playlist separately. So this is going to be the fourth video on that playlist. So that it is for today, guys. If you like today's video, a subscribe to the channel will be awesome. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.